Hello! What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name's Elizabeth. I do all sort of fashion and lifestyle content over here and would absolutely love if you would subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Today I'm gonna be doing a Walmart haul video. These are our favorite over here on my channel. So I'm gonna unbox everything, give initial thoughts, try everything on, and then we will rate everything. So let's get started. This one not show my address. I've actually had this one for a little bit because it was a pre-order. So I don't know if it's in stock, but I just wanted to try it on for you guys. So I'm really excited about it and I hope it works because this would be a really great like holiday kind of dress. It's not just for holidays, but that's what I thought of before. Okay, so it's this like leather shirt dress. Initial thoughts. I think I like it. It's really soft. I feel like it's way nicer than the leather jacket I tried in the last video. So very interested. I got this in a large, so we'll see. This honestly might be my biggest Walmart haul yet. They had so many good finds that I was like, oh my gosh, my friends over here on the internet would love for us to try these on together. Oh, this is cute. A lot of stuff from Free Assembly Line. They have some really cute stuff coming out for winter. So I got this little top. It's just brown knit with these buttons. I think that's super cute. It's a little basic, and I don't have any brown, but brown's like super trendy. Here's green. I was I've been feeling adventurous with colors lately. Normally I just stick to like creams and blacks and then pink. But I've been feeling Adventurous. This is cute, this green sweater. That is such a perfect Christmas color sweater. This looks just like the one I got from Target at the beginning of the season, and that was white. This one is such a beautiful color. We've got another sweater, but going back to the neutrals, this is like a brown little popover with a little zipper. Cute, trendy. I'm super excited about these and I really hope that these work. They are a straight leg jean. So I'm kind of nervous. I don't think they're gonna fit. They're the original 90s straight and this perfect wash. I really think these are gonna be too small. I got them in a 10. They've got like distressing at the bottom. Oh, I really hope these fit. I'm getting PTSD for my Try and Walmart jeans video. Here's another package. Oh, this is fun. It's a corduroy blazer. How fun. So cute. I got this in a medium. This is this beautiful rust colored sweater that's um, wrapped, little cardigan. Super cute. Now I've got this box. Here is a jacket. They, ha I, they had it in a tan and I really wanted it, but they completely sold out right before I placed the order. So I got the black instead, which is still really cute. Like this Buffalo check plaid kind of. It's really, it's more of like a dark charcoal gray than it is black. It's really soft. A lot better than the white one that I initially tried a few months ago. And then last but not least, I got a coat, which I have mixed feelings on because it's like a little slouchier, you know, like those kind of like pea coats that are like in right now. So this one is more of like a boyfriend fit. This is really big. I got it in a medium too. And look how this looks huge. Let's just start throwing things on and see what happens. <laughs> Hello, my name is Elizabeth Young and I am the newest cast member of Friends 2.0. This outfit, I love. Let's start off with the top. So, super cute fitted, comfy, like just little Henley tee. I like the little buttons. I like that it's like a V-neck, not too deep. You're not seeing anything. It's crazy stretchy the other colors, a really good layering piece. And I really like that I got the brown because it definitely just switches up things in my wardrobe a lot and just not things that I would normally wear. Super cute, just a great basic. Now, the fun part. These jeans, they fit. Moment of silence. 
you girl has lost about 10 pounds and I have lost some inches. Um, I, I haven't, I didn't measure the inches, but a lot of my clothes are starting to get big on me. So that's why I got the 10 in these and not a 12. And they fit, I think they fit great. They are a little tighter where like the zipper is kind of like, that's the tightest, but I think they fit so good on my legs, very comfortable. They're more stretchy now that I have them on, but they really feel like a true 90s jean. Like, I really feel like I should be on Friends in this outfit. The wash is so great. I have been trying to come around to like the straight leg jeans a bit more. And I think this one fits because they are like a straight leg, but they're not like, cause like I have, you know, like, a little bigger of a thigh and instead of it going like straight down at like the same like width of my thigh at my ankle see that's what i don't like these are a little more tapered so they are like a they're in between like a straight and a skinny i would say like they're nowhere near tight on the bottom like my calves but they also are just not baggy and like i don't like the baggy they're good height like high waistedness they come above my belly button I think they're cute with this little top tucked in. My butt doesn't look like a pancake, but it also doesn't look great either. But I feel like that has to do with the pants. They're really good quality. Like these feel like Levi's denim, like denim you will have for years. I am such a fan of this. Like we just like knocked it out of the park on the first try of this haul. And I'm so excited. So the sweater, super cute. I love the color. I think it's fun, very Christmas wintry, and it is so much softer than the Target one that I bought the beginning of this year. Like they literally are the exact same sweater. This is just so much softer. I think there are so many different fun ways to style this going into winter with different layering pieces, dresses, skirts, fun jeans, holiday parties, work, all the things. So if you'd like to see like another styling video, definitely let me know down below. I just posted a winter styling video. You guys should go check out and I can do another one too because those are so fun for me. But very impressed. It's really good quality. I feel like this is very durable. I've been really impressed with a lot of the free assembly line on the quality that they have, so. I really like this sweater. Um, let's hop on into the next item. Okay, here is a cute piece. It is very soft. I really like this a lot more than I kind of thought I would. It's a little out of my comfort zone. It's a little of like, it feels slightly of like the chenille sweater material, but it's like, it's really nothing like that. It's just probably 15%. Very soft and cozy and not like suffocating warmth, but I think it's a really good warm. I unzipped it a little bit because I feel like it's really cute and flattering to be like shown like this, but then also like this is how it came zipped. Very like preppy, 90s schoolgirl kind of vibes. I don't think it's like a flattering fit, but it's just like a cozy thing to throw on. Like if I were to style this, I would front tuck it and keep it open a little bit just to like, I don't know, give some dimension and not like make you look like a paper bag. But I think it's super cute. I think it goes really well with the jeans and the whole like 90s vibe that pretty much this whole haul is giving off. I didn't think about that like, a lot of these look like full house, <laughs> but I think this is super cute and fun. A good little staple piece if you want to be like somewhat on trend. The collar is very trendy right now and probably good if you live in cooler weather. You can zip it up when you're walking around outside and then like let it down to cool off. So very versatile. I think this would be really good if I was like on college, in college, like walking around campus in the cold, but still really cute regardless. Here's a really cute sweater that I really wish I would have had for football season but sadly that time has passed. But this is super cute, very cozy, comfortable, not scratchy at all. I do have an express cardigan that's shaped somewhat like this, and this is much more comfortable, um, which I'm pretty impressed by. I like that it has pockets, the color's really pretty, and I really like this combination, the brown and the orange together. I think it's really nice and something that I wouldn't normally do. I just put this on as like a base layering for like the jackets and outerwear that we have coming up. But I do really like this together. I think it's a nice 
chic, very cozy autumnal look even though it's winter but yeah i think this is really cute really good for workwear or lounging around i don't see anything wrong with this i don't think the fit is like 100 percent flattering but i don't think it's supposed to be like a flattering fit i think it's more for like comfort and like versatility and there's so many different ways you could wear this for sure but yeah honestly i'm really here for this this jacket is super fun i don't like it as much as I thought I would, but I do like it. I just don't think I'm the candidate for this. So let's just start off. I got a medium and it's too tight in my arms. Um, I don't know if you can tell, I feel very restricted and claustrophobic in this. Like I do not, like I should have gotten a large, but I like the way that the medium fits me like in the body, it's the arms like, yeah, I would like seriously have a legit panic attack if I stayed in this for too long. I think this is really cute for workwear holiday parties where you have to look a little more professional. I see like a silk satin little white button down or like colorful with some slacks or some fun like flare jeans. Very versatile, really good for throwing over like a winter dress or something like that during the season. I do like the sleeves rolled a lot more, but I do that in like all of my blazers I own. I just feel like it looks more feminine when you roll the sleeves. Overall, I like it. I just don't really think it is for me and the arms. Can't do the arms. Definitely should have gotten a large. So if you guys don't like things being tight on your arms, size up. And because it's corduroy, it doesn't stretch at all. I don't know what it is, but when I was putting this on, it like comes buttoned. My, this is so tight. My hand could not fit through the little handhole. Like I was stuck. So I don't know what that's about. I know like I don't have the smallest hands, but like they're not large. Like that was just weird. I've never had that happen on a shirt before. Okay, this is softer than the other one I have. I got a large, my other jacket was an extra large. So I like the fit of this a lot better. I feel like I crap on that one all the time. It's really not bad. It's just like, I found things much better, but much softer, cozier. It does still have a little boxier of a fit. It's more square shaped than it is rectangular. We've talked about that in some of the styling videos in my last haul video. And I just like, I don't think this is the most flattering. It's not really my style. I'm more definitely on the girlier end. And I think this is not girly at all. It looks better with the sleeves rolled a hundred percent, but I just left this. See, look, I can't even, like this is as far as it goes. That is not okay. But yeah, if you're looking for like a shacket like this, I think this is a great option. I'm not in love with it. I'm not in love with it. What's that from Blindside? If you don't love it in the store, you won't love it at home. Sandra Bullock, I got it. Okay, this is really bougie and I really, like I like it. Ooh, ooh, the front pockets are not pockets. They're fake. And there's no other pockets. There's no pockets in this peacoat. I don't like that. But what I would say about this, if you have like a girlier style, I'd probably get like one of the time and true peacoats that we tried on beforehand. But this is just like a different style. This is like more streetwear, New York City gal, like Soho. So it's like just a baggier fit, very boxy. It's very comfortable. It's warm. Like I, this is something you can wear to New York City and be totally warm in. And it is nice that it is like, oversized because then it'd be good for layering for that warmth and i like the length of it like it comes down to your knee pit which my friend natalie commented what it was called and i don't know what it's called but i just keep calling it a knee pit so it comes down really far in length and i really like this it's just not my style natalie would look really good in this I just, it's just not really for me, but I do like it if you are looking for something like this, like for the price point to get something like this from Walmart. The quality is really nice. Like this is a 
pretty hefty jackets that I think would get you a long ways um, and for many years to come. I'm really upset that there's no pockets. That's probably my biggest downfall in this because there's really nothing wrong with this jacket, except it doesn't have pockets. Where are you supposed to put your hands? Okay, here we are with our final item of this haul video. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed. I really like this. It does slightly look like I'm wearing a trash bag, but I've been wanting like a leather dress and there was one very similar to this from Abercrombie that I wanted, but that was like 80 or $90. So this is half the price. And I did get a large in this because I didn't want it to be tight on my hips. And I really like the fit of it on my hips. It completely is snap buttons all the way down, real pockets, which I really appreciate. And I love this little um, belt. At first I just knotted it, but it doesn't stay as well. And also, so I tied it in the bow, but I think the bow just adds like a girly touch to a full on leather outfit. This is like really pretty. Like I wanna wear this on a cute little date night or something like that. I did just notice, you can't see it on camera, Phew. but I have my hands in my pockets right now and I stood to the side and you can see through like this, like the little, buttons so I would recommend wearing like little shorts under this I wear shorts under all my dresses I'm not currently but definitely recommend shorts little spandex um, I'll have some of my favorites linked below but I really like this this is super cute super on trend at a good price point I think there's a lot of different ways you could wear this this is like a big fuzzy coat would be so bougie and so fun I like that this is like pretty professional, but trendy and fun and modest. And like everything is covered, which I just really appreciate. Modest is hottest ladies. I really like this. Okay, let's go through and rate everything in this haul. We'll start off with the brown Henley. Love that. Such a great statement piece and something that like the color is really good to like build off of and to get on that chocolate brown trend, but also not buying like a crazy statement piece. Like this is very versatile and can be worn in so many different ways. So A plus plus to that, really great. The jeans, oh my gosh, the best thing from this entire video. If you buy one thing, buy yourself those jeans. And I'm not like that straight leg kind of gal, but I'm trying to get there and get out of my comfort zone and just like have fun with fashion again. And those are it. Love those so, so much. A plus 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 plus, link down below. Please buy them and let me know what you guys think. I would love to know if I'm like just crazy or you guys really love them too. The green sweater, super cute, really great for this time of year. Absolutely adore it. I highly recommend like A plus, literally nothing wrong with that whatsoever. A great statement sweater. Up next is the orange cardigan. Really like this. It's not like my crazy favorite, but like I literally have no issues with it. I just don't think I have a need for it right now. Um, so I probably won't hang on to it. Like if this was like a month ago and I still had football games to go to, I would 100% be wearing that to all football games. The cute like white t-shirt underneath or something like that. So I'll rate the cardigan in A plus. So far, this is like my most highly rated Walmart haul ever. The black and white charcoal shacket. Nothing, well, what's wrong with it is the armholes. Like, your hands. This one, my hands got through perfectly easy. No issues at all. That one, that was, that was a weird thing. So for that, I'll give it a B. That's the only thing wrong with it though. And like the shape is not really what I want in my kind of jackets going into the jacket. I'm gonna give that an A plus. Besides the pockets, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I think it's really cute, trendy, um, and a fun piece to experiment with, but not spending like $300 like I've seen those coats elsewhere. And coming in, the last item is this dress. I'm giving this an A++. I really like it. I think it's super fun and really good for like this time of year to add like a fun dress. I've been I'm really impressed with all of Walmart's dresses so far that I've tried. So super excited about this one and to add this to my collection. Let me know what you guys thought of all of these pieces and which ones you guys 
loved and didn't love, which ones you pick up and what you think about them. I would really love if you'd subscribe and stick around. I really want to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So it would mean the world to me if you would stick around and I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.